into uh, Switzerland but also into the city called Basel. Basel. So Basel is uh, is a border border city. Uh, it's famous for uh, industries uh, and especially making uh, different pharmaceuticals. Okay, and uh, they also produce chemicals. Okay, uh, so chemical industry is very important for the for the area. Also, it's a kind of cultural center. Okay, so once uh, in the 2000s, uh, it was chosen uh, as one of the uh, capitals of culture for the European Union. And so it's a very beautiful uh, city located on the banks of the river, uh, yeah, of the river Rhine. Okay, so the Rhine River. The Rhine River is one of the uh, principal rivers of uh, uh, Europe and it flows all the way from the Swiss Alps across many countries, yeah, all the way uh, through France, yeah. And uh, so the, the Rhine River going also in Germany and to France, to Germany, and then I think all the way up to the North Sea, yeah. So it's one of the largest uh, rivers. So here, uh, if you are looking left or right after coming out of this tunnel, you can see for a glance, yeah, to take a look, yeah, left, right. Okay, so this is the first uh, Swiss city that we're seeing now. Usually here in the summer you can see people swimming in the river, yeah. So this is the actually first stop on the river, uh, on the river Rhine, where they have water traffic, okay. So because if you go further up, you have the Rhine Falls. The Rhine Falls is uh, the largest waterfall uh, in, uh, I think in Europe, largest in uh, size. Yeah, so uh, after that area, coming down here, is the start of the use of traffic on the river. So they use it for boats which carry goods from the Netherlands all the way up here and so forth. Okay, so back and forth they go. Uh, and also, a lot of people like to travel on the Rhine as for holiday, you know. Uh, they have these uh, river cruises and that's why it's a very popular river and going through the most beautiful scenic uh, areas of Europe. Okay, so coming out of the tunnel, you still see mostly these companies here, but you can see these uh, huge buildings. These are all uh, different companies, uh, industrial areas. Okay, so we don't see much of the city, unfortunately, but it's one of the major uh, cities of the region call Basel this area uh, okay so this we're going through and then we're driving on uh, the Swiss roads already uh, you can see the quality of the roads pretty good yeah and uh, yeah so it's quite uh, there's a few bits and pieces here that we can uh, experience traffic uh, because it's uh, going in and out of the city yeah and uh, so it's very typical of the Swiss to have tunnels yeah because they were the first people who started using tunnels in order to uh, cut costs for building roads up in the mountains yeah because imagine it's snowing in the winter and you have uh, to go up in the mountain you cannot cross to the other side so because of that uh, they built they started building all these different tunnels in cities in outside of cities to avoid having to build across nature as well. So they just go through the tunnel and then uh, on the other side, you have a different area again. Uh, so as I said earlier, the, the main area which we're going to be around is called the Swiss Plateau. It's the flat region. It's in a kind of middle heart of the, uh, uh, the country. Yeah, so the heart of the country is the most flat area. But even that, you would feel like, oh, it's hills and uh, you know and mountains everywhere but so here now you can see all the hills coming up these are still not big mountains but don't worry as we go down across then you will see a lot more and actually tomorrow it's going to be the most uh, areas with the scenic view okay so you're going to see the swiss alps some of them still covered and uh, snow but we'll, we'll see uh, i'm not sure how the weather is up there now but about 3000 yeah you can see us see here the, the river Rhine yeah so above 3000 you have snow usually but under in the summertime it melts okay so 
the Swiss have the history of being the farmers who work on the mountains. So even today you will see people or in some houses up there which only do something very interesting. So in the beginning of the summer they move up into these cabins with the animals outside, usually cows, yeah, and then uh, uh, they herd the cows throughout the, the summertime and when the winter is coming, they come in town and then take shelter down in the uh, bottom of the mountains. Yeah, so this is a very uh, important uh, way of living. In fact, this is an old tradition for the Swiss people, mountaineering as well, okay? So the Swiss are unique uh, in their own uh, way of government, but also in the uh, way of their life. And uh, so Swiss people are one of the luckiest people on the planet because the crime rates like uh, you know, killings and all that, it don't really happen here. So there is not, there's no shootings, there is no real crime going on except for politicians and bankers maybe. But <laughs> but uh, what I say is like, it's a very safe country, okay? So it's safe uh, to travel, it's a very, uh, well, you know, well-built. And uh, between cities you have very good transportation. So in case you're visiting by yourself, uh, you might don't want to rent a car because you don't want to drive, but in between cities, there's good connections with trains, as you can see, a lot of trains, train tracks going around. So, all these uh, trains are also connected to the rest of Europe. So, for example, you can take a train from Paris to here as well. It's a very fast and uh, a bit faster than uh, taking a bus, for example. Okay? So Baselland, it's called this area, Baselland. So it's one of the regions or called cantons of Switzerland, okay? And so the next uh, area we're going to visit, we're going down south now, so south from the uh, border of Basel, all the way to the city called Luzern. Okay, so Luzern is uh, a German-speaking town, okay? Uh, and that's where we're going to spend our, uh, well, free time once we arrive um, yeah so that's gonna be the next thing on the list Lausanne so you can see only 93 kilometers okay so all the major cities are located very near like the city of Zurich which is the financial capital of uh, Switzerland okay so that is very unique one of the, that's the largest most populated city call it Zurich uh, Zurich is also German speaking so up in the north here, everyone speaks German. And then the part of other, other part of uh, Switzerland, uh, going to the northwest, the northwest is uh, mostly around the area of the border of, uh, of France, French speaking uh, Swiss. But they also still Swiss. So uh, they are not different as from the people. Then you can see Bayer's building here. It's one of the largest uh, corporations uh, for pharmaceuticals, Bayer, okay? Uh, so yeah, the, some of the largest corporations in the world are Swiss. Like uh, Nestle, you know Nestle, right? Yeah, so Nestle, don't buy that stuff, guys. Uh, uh, so all these corporations basically means they always buying up smaller businesses and selling it as their own. So that's what they do basically. Uh, and also exploiting uh, countries like uh, food, uh, food resources and uh, yeah, all that. So all the bad practice you can imagine. Uh, actually the Nestle was uh, responsible for uh, bringing into, the, in, in the US now they have a big problem. Uh, they brought in uh, produce for the, you know, the baby food, right? The baby, uh, that they make fake, fake uh, milk, you know? So they, they discovered that they had uh, many uh, uh, poisoning things inside their food. So they had to pull it off the shelves, all of them, because uh, a lot of uh, babies got cancer. So that's very important. Don't, don't trust big companies, guys. That's the most important. Be educated. Uh, yeah, because they don't care. They have just a profit in, uh, you know, they set their minds to do, make profit, whatever you can do. And uh, because if, even if you think if they make a mistake, they will say, okay, well, we pay out a few people to shut up and then uh, we continue. 
so that's what they do so that's why corporations are very dangerous for everyone's uh, freedom to be honest uh, because then uh, they dictate what your food is going to be uh, because they bought up everything like uh, most uh, countries they uh, they actually buy water water sources and they will sell you back in a plastic bottle telling you it's for you but they took it from you and they repackage it sell it for you <laughs> and then uh, Yes, and people don't even uh, think about it. Like, where is the water coming from? And before, I remember, it was free. And now I put it in a plastic bottle, which created also trash. And then uh, I can sell it for you a uh, hundred times more. Yeah, it's crazy, no? So, think about it, yeah? So, that's why, you know, if you uh, want to be rich, there is always a cost. But you're paying the cost, of course, because they are rich. And uh, so, yeah, uh, the Swiss way. Right, uh, but quality of life, I would say, is one of the top uh, in uh, in here, in uh, in all of uh, Europe, one of the best. Of course, you can uh, compare it with Denmark and uh, Norway or Sweden, because those are the ones uh, which also are top quality places to live. Uh, the only thing different is probably those places are even more expensive. Yeah. So Switzerland is a little bit behind being expensive, but I'm not sure how the prices changed in the last couple of years. So we might be in for a surprise when we get there. But uh, there is no big difference now in most of the places um, in, uh, in the Eurozone as for the prices go. Some of the things can be a bit more expensive or cheaper, but actually in Switzerland eating out is one of the main things that is expensive. Okay, so you can find that, okay, wow, uh, this burger cost, uh, I don't know, 20 Swiss francs. Uh, but it's okay, you know, you're on holiday, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm just saying this so you know uh, what to expect. Some of the things can be a bit expensive, okay? But, uh, you know, we, we are here only for one night, and then tomorrow we are out here already. In Italy, it's a bit cheaper for some of the things. Um, yeah, so actually what some of the people do is or try to do but it's not really possible that people who want to do shopping outside of switzerland and bring things back but it's illegal you are not allowed to bring in other stuff that you can buy in here too so for example uh, i've seen people uh, they bought a case of beer and they said no you cannot bring it it's illegal offense so you have to pay extra tax on it just even a case of beer so imagine uh, they try to protect uh, their own economy and uh, so most people they don't even try and uh, I heard a story one of my friends he was working somewhere and then and he said yeah I'm going here to buy something like in Austria and then uh, his boss asked him we are not paying you enough you cannot buy it here <laughs> he said no I want to save money and I said yeah I, I can give you more money <laughs> so they have a different way of thinking here so they have a kind of protectionist uh, way of thinking like okay this is how you uh, save your economy from uh, being exploited you know or getting all uh, the bad type of uh, produce okay so now you can see here these are the local farms okay so some small towns look just like this okay so pretty modern you don't see these wooden houses anymore that you would imagine up in the cottages you have it up in the mountains but uh, normal people don't live there anymore Okay, that's just for show maybe, for old buildings. More people live in uh, nicely built family homes and these are the, the easy ways to see just normal little towns. That's very common. So there is no big huge metropolises in, uh, in here, in Switzerland, only for Zurich. Zurich is the largest and also has most of these uh, large buildings like uh, high-rise buildings and office towers but probably that's the only one which has these ugly buildings most of the little cities even Lutzen is quite large um, for this area but um, it has the retained the old structures you will see the medieval buildings uh, and also uh, remember that this country has not been in war for many centuries many hundreds of years actually so because of that you have a unique architecture preserved also with some modern buildings but in Lucerne you will see the chapel bridge they call it the Kapel Brücke which is like one of the oldest bridges yeah and uh, it's a wooden bridge of course it's not the same wood they built it with because uh, well 
wood don't last so long. And at one time also uh, burnt down. But they rebuilt, reconstructed, and it has this nice medieval feeling to it. Okay, because back in that day, it was much cheaper to build a wooden bridge than with the stone, right? But they felt like, okay, there's something like a unique architectural style uh, connected to it. There's a tower, you can see, it used to be uh, also used for uh, like the jail, jail uh, of uh, Lucerne. And so yeah, the old cities in uh, medieval times used to be surrounded by uh, uh, walls, right? Because even in between these regions, sometimes they have been fighting each other, especially at time of Reformation. Maybe you, maybe you heard of it, but there was a big, big war in between nations uh, inside Europe. That was a big problem for the Catholic Church, the Protestant movement. Also, it uh, took part here, and uh, there was a guy called Burli uh, from uh, Zwingli. He was one of the uh, guys who was responsible for spreading the new ideology of Protestant uh, religion belief okay so it's the same religion but with a different set of practices okay so the reformation was to counter uh, the uh, uh, the corruption of the church back in that day so a lot of parts of Europe started warring and also in between uh, the areas of different city states here inside the Switzerland they had wars going on they killed each other actually but then they agreed okay Guys, you do what you want. <laughs> uh, but first, you have to kill some people to realize that you should do that first, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, the Swiss had these old buildings surrounded the city with the city wall. City wall had to protect the citizens from being attacked from the sieging other army. Okay, so that's why some of the parts, also when we get into uh, uh, Lucerna, we point out to you where you can see, oh, there's a medieval wall structure still preserved okay but some of these old uh, towns they grew up much bigger as you can see they're still constructing new buildings so these are just little towns here which are like proper uh, places where people live okay a little bit more modern than uh, back in the uh, old days they built these uh, uh, simple wooden houses so now uh, yeah just a little bit more driving guys and we will get close to Lucerne, we'll let you know when we get by uh, to the entrance and then we'll give you a couple of information. Okay, so uh, yeah, just a little bit more driving. Let's see how traffic goes. Might have some uh, constructions on the road, so a bit slowing down. Uh, they're always maintaining the roads, building, expanding, uh, fixing things, uh, as you can see here as well. Uh, so they have to maintain the quality of uh, of these tunnels as well because they also get old right 